the next relations are tangent concentric mate midpoint intersection and fix tangent is used to apply the tangent condition between arc and then line or arc to s plane concentric relationship will uh, maintain the the center point or the arc to be on the same center point it, that, that, that means the selected arc or the circle will share the same center point midpoint will make the selected point to be placed on the mid of the selector line entity intersection will make the point to be lying on the intersection of two entities fix as you know it will fix any point that is any one single point or the whole entity let's uh, look this in uh, solidworks i'll cancel this uh, i'll go and choose the front plane here first one is i will start like this and i'll make a line arc over here and one more line here but line segment and here and i'll create a circle here and i'll create and one more circle over here or i will create one more circle on this entity and now let's see how we can apply tangent mate that is uh, tangent relation and concentric relation and let's see how this will work out now when i start to create this you can see automatically there are some relations which is applied uh, automatically to this line segments and arc but here i need to maintain once again the tangential condition between line and arc we can do this let's let, let, that's, that's what we did right now this is what tangent relation the next i would like to make uh, this two circle to have the same center point concentric and i want this circle to be placed on the midpoint of this line i can use midpoint from this call out and you can see it has been located exactly on the mid of this line segment and we have one more uh, option that is getting the intersection point now uh, i will get the intersection point between these two and i will make a line segment up to this and now we need to place uh, this circle on this intersection point i will select this center point and i will select uh, this uh, intersection that is intersection point now we can see uh, because of the uh, the sketch is not fully defined it is moving in a different direction that is circle is enabling the other entity to move what i will do i will create one more circle over here and i'll make this circle to stay on this two center point i'll go and say intersection point now i can see here the circle is located on the intersection of two line segment and now there is a one more option that is fix fix what is the advantage of doing this fix let's let's do look into this i will create a circle over here and uh, i i have the option of moving the circle where i need this but i need to fix the circle in this location i will use fixed but still you will have the advantage of resizing this circle but here you had fixed this and if you if you go and fix a line segment drawn here and if you say this point is fixed i will remove this uh, line segment and i will say this point is fixed it, it, it is possible to orient the line segment where you require to uh, place it but you cannot change this location now i will make one more line segment here and you can see here uh, but 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 the circle diameter change i can go and say this has to be 50 mm diameter and now i'll drag this now you can see here how this fix constraint works this is this is how you can use different relations in solid works now this ends with this slide the next slide relations here we are going to see coincident equal slots equal equal curvature symmetric and fixed slot coincident as you know it it is used to make two points to be lying on the same point equal slots if you draw a slot 
and if you want to make the two slot to be on the same size you can use equal slot equal it applies for curvature circle and line segment let's look into this each constraint solid works 